Hey. Not yet. fish. Oh, good one. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. This is a nice one. Oh, yeah, this is a nice one. Nice small mouth. Oh, yeah, it is. That is a beautiful small mouth right there. Beautiful fish if I can keep him on the end of the line. Oh yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's just barely hooked and he's in this strong current. Mm. It's a beautiful fish. Come here. Ah. There we go. Wow. Just barely have him hooked. Just barely have him hooked. He was fighting so, so hard in that strong current. That fish was just fighting like mad. I barely got him in. He was just barely hooked. You gotta love, uh, you gotta love smallmouth bass fishing on the Scioto River. When it gets hot, and uh, they're forecasting a high of somewhere around 94 or 95 degrees today. And uh, when it gets hot, it's hard to catch them in the lakes, but you come to the Scioto River and you can jam up on them. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. It's ready to go back home. Oh yeah, going back. Thank you. This point is so distinctive. That on this side it attracts too much attention. Fish. Ooh, goodness. Yeah. Oh man. Ah. Whoa. He fell in the right spot. Hold still now. All right, here we go. Ooh, let me wash this fish off. All right. Uh, I was saying that the spot was a little too obvious because it's just a pronounced point with rock on the end. It's got brush piles on the end. And I was saying to myself, hmm, it's just too easy for somebody to come up there, flip a jig out to that spot and catch the fish that are on that spot. It's too easy. Fish are already caught. The one key thing that you do when you're fishing in pressured areas, when you see that spot on the spot, everybody's fishing it. Leave that spot alone. Go down the bank and find the next piece of available cover. A lot of times guys will go up to the spot on the spot. They're not catching any fish there. They'll leave and those fish on that spot will get caught, but the fish in the other areas won't. There we go, nice fish. Didn't even know he was gonna hit it. All right, thank you. All right, set on back home. Thank you.
This wind is starting to shift. Was blowing straight out of the south. Now it's kind of coming out of the southwest. Oh, as soon as it hit the water, he had it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two cranks. Oh, he came off. He was a largemouth. He wasn't a white bass at all. He was a largemouth, and he came off. Mmm. Man, oh, man. Oh, there's another one. He came off. Goodness gracious. There's another one. Came back and socked it. Oh, yeah. This is phenomenal action. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh, let me get this fish. I'll show him to you. Show you the bait. There you go. I'll show it to you again after I put him back. Going back. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Here's the bait. Now I'm putting it back to work. Slow down for just a second before I make this turn. And I'm slowing up is because I want to slow up so I can square up on this ripple. Here we go. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. All right. Here we go. Gracious! Oh my God! I seen him come out and grab it. He's a huge fish, trophy fish. I hope I can get him in. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's a big smallmouth, and he ran that line. He ran that line across that iron right there. I don't know if I can get him in. I don't know if I can do it. No. Come in. Come here. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's just pulling drag. He's such a big fish. Ooh. Come here. Mm. Mm. Oh, goodness. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I wish I had a net right now. Oh gosh. All right. Now, folks at home, let's talk about trophies here. Let me move my boat out of this spot. Check that small mouth out. All right. The structure out here, just a beautiful place to fish. It's like an old iron wall. The river comes against it. There's a current break right behind it. That's where the fish want to be. All right, when you're on the river, look for spots like that. Get another good look at that fish. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you, thank you. That's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. I'm 
All right, here we go. Check the size, check out the size of this crappie. Um, when you're on the river, the Scioto River, magical things can happen. So I'm pulling along the four inch worm and uh, this enormous crappie just swallows it down right as I'm bringing it back to the boat. Um, behind me is a unique area on the river. It is a floating island and it's a big log jam, but it's got trees growing up on top of it. And uh, it's an area that's been there for years, despite the fact that we have a lot of flooding in this area um, every year. Crappie seem to hang around it. Beautiful, beautiful trophy size crappie. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, close up. Oh yeah, you've gotta love it. You have gotta love it. Going back. Thank you. All right, there we go. It's another smallmouth and he's enormous. This is a, oh gosh, I just hope I can get him in. He's just pulling line. I just got a little 10 pound line, two watt hook. And these smallmouth are just so powerful down on the river. Oh, don't you dare. Don't you dare throw that hook. Come here. No, 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 no. All right. All right, folks at home. Let's talk about trophy category fish here. Trophy category fish. Let's talk about that. Let's have this discussion. I'm gonna estimate that smallmouth in the 19 to 20 inch range. I know I get a lot of criticism for not measuring the fish. I don't even have a scale to measure them. I've just caught so many. I know about how big that fish is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Can't argue with that. Look at him. These Scioto River fish, they're just so thick across the back. And they're so long. Unlike the fish at Lake Erie where they get those round football shaped bodies, the fish down here, they just get huge tails because they're constantly battling the current in the river. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh yeah, all right, there we go. And he is going back home so you can catch him. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's that good. I'm doing the greatest thing in a whole wide world. I wish you could be here with me. All right. He purposely waked me. Should have been like, yo, dude, I got a camera running on you. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. Good one. Good one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh, he got tied in the trolling motor. This is a five pound bass. Mm. Oh gosh. All right, come here, come here, come here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
hello. That's what I'm talking about right there. When they are on the bite, they are on the bite. I am loving it up here at Lake Erie. Tons of huge, big, heavy, largemouth bass. Catching lots of them. You gotta love it. I'm using a 3 8 ounce spinner bait right here. Tandem blades, just slow rolling in around the rocks. In the fall, it works wonders on big largemouth bass at Lake Erie. Gotta love it. All right, I'm gonna get in control of my boat. When you're fishing in areas like this, there's lots of current and those fish, they're staying close to the rocks. You got to, I'm gonna turn this boat around so everybody at home can see, pointing right into the sun. But when you're fishing in areas like this, at home, you're thinking, well, it'll just be easy to move the boat around. No, tons of current. That's why these fish stay in these areas. There's just tons and tons and tons of current. There's lots and lots and lots of fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. You gotta love it. You have gotta love it. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Going back home. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much. All right. No, what I think it is, is it doesn't have anything to do with evening. It has to do with the fact that the boat traffic calmed down so I can fish. 